What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's Happy Friday, and this is Willie Leganier coming to you live of the New York Power Couple. And today is what? I think today is the third installation of my immune system chat. Um, and this title is all about the full body defense system. So I'm going to quickly go through eight different parts of the body that serve to protect your body from outside viruses, toxins, and etc., etc. We are living with COVID. Too many people are dying from it, and you need to know how best to protect yourself. So let's jump right in. Full body defense system cells for both the innate and adaptive immune system are created throughout the entire body by various organs and tissues, including the thymus, a small organ located in the upper chest behind the sternum and in front of the heart that is made, of, made up of immature T cells specialized in making white blood cells that can identify, attack foreign invaders, and compromise cells. By your early teens, the thymus begins to deteriorate. By age 65, the body becomes inca incapable of making new T cells. So, if you live that long, there's something else you need to do, but we'll talk about that another time. Then you have the lymphatic vessels a series of vessels that complements the cardiovascular system. Oh. Uh, Siri is trying to take over here. Sorry about that. So that the lymphatic vessels, a series of vessels that complements the cardiovascular system. But instead of carrying blood, they carry plasma-like fluid, lymph that contains specialized white blood cells known as lymphocytes. That's L-Y-M-P-H-O-C-Y-T-E-S. Then you have the prayers, priors, priors patches. That's P-E-Y-E-R. Small patches of lymphatic tissue found in the small intestine that helps prevent growth of bad bacteria in the intestines. That's critically important right there. Then you have bone marrow. We all familiar with bone marrow, right? It's a semi-solid tissue particularly, primarily found inside of the bones of your pelvis, ribs, sternum, and vertebra. Produces white blood cells crucial to the fighting of invaders. In a healthy adult, more bone marrow, more marrow, excuse me, makes about 500 billion blood cells per day. Isn't that amazing? Then you have the andioids, a mass of soft tissue behind the nasal cavity, traps pathogens inhaled through the nose. Then you have your tonsils. Tonsils are the type of lymph node, uh, as a type of lymph node and work as part of your body's immune system. See, people have gotten them removed back in the day. I never felt comfortable about that. They act as filters for bacteria and viruses, actually swelling during times of stress to catch environmental challenges when they're sick. As part of their role in your immune system, they also make disease-fighting white blood cells and antibodies. The spleen, the small organ located just to the left of your stomach that produces and stores white blood cells. And then you have your lymph nodes, small masses of specialized tissue located along the lymph node vessels through which lymph, the lymph passes on its way back to the blood. Lymph nodes filter waste, bacteria, and damaged cells. They also uh, repos they also repositories of immune cells where they are stored in, and can be and be re and reproduce. Wow, I get tongue tied when you talk the other stuff. So that's it. So you have like three different portions of your body that's acting as agents to help your immune system be its optimum best. 
and it's your responsibility to take care of those things and you know just eating or a healthy diet is not enough exercising is not enough so I hope you appreciated this if you have any uh, comments please share them questions please share them I'd love to share information as I get it and I will see you on the next video be well and take care of the one body you get Signing off.